know I think they like me. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is smallest index with equal value. So, in this question, we're given a zero index integer array called nums, and we need to return the smallest index i. So i is the index such that i modulus 10 is equal to nums of i. If no such index is present, we need to return minus 1 as our answer. So if you take a look at this example, 0, 1, 2 are the three array elements present. i starts from 0, so i is the index. i modulus 10 is equal to 0 and 0 is the number present at nums of i where i is equal to 0. Similarly, we have to compute the equation for all the indexes present that is 0 1 2 and we need to get the smallest index where this condition satisfies 0 modulo 10 is 0 and 0 is present at nums of 0 1 modulo 10 is 1 and nums of 1 contains 1 2 modulo 10 is 2 and nums of 2 contains 2 so the equation satisfies for all the indexes but we need to return the smallest index so the smallest index is 0 so we return 0 as the answer for the second example let us walk through so these are the five array elements 4 3 2 1 and 5 and these are the index positions of those array elements starting from 0 till the end of the array that is 4. Now we have to compute the equation for each array element i modulo 10, 0 modulo 10 should be equal to nums of i is not equal to 4. 0 modulo 10 is 0 which is not equal to 4. So we do not take this element into consideration. Now for this i modulo 10, 1 modulo 10 because 1 is the index position for this array element is not equal to 3. So we do not consider this element. 2 modulo 10 is equal to 2 which is equal to the array element 2. So this we consider as the answer. Now that we found the answer you don't need to proceed to the rest of the array elements because we need to find out the smallest index and the rest of the indexes 3 and 4 are greater than the target answer that is 2 so we don't need to continue so 2 will be our answer for this question there you have it we're getting 2 as the output so let's code it up as the return type for this question is int which will return the smallest index let us create an answer variable called index and initialize it to minus 1 because if we don't find any smallest index we need to return minus 1 as our answer so initially we'll store index as minus 1. If we don't find our smallest index which satisfies the condition, you can print out minus 1 as out. Now let us iterate through the nums array from start to end where the index starts from 0 till the end of the array. Now let us check this condition if i modulo 10 is equal to nums of i. If i modulo 10 is equal to nums of i We'll store this index i in our answer variable index. So index equal to i. And we can stop the iteration by breaking it using the break statement. And now outside the for loop, you can print out the answer index. So we'll return the answer index. That's it. This is a fairly easy problem. Now let's run the code. There you have it. We're getting the expected answer. Let's submit the code. There you go, our solution has been accepted. So our solution is faster than 100% of the Java online submissions. So the time complexity for this question is O of n, where n is the number of elements present in the array nums. And the space complexity is constant because we're not using any extra space. That's it guys, that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I think they like me. Yo, am I white? Oh, no, 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 baby, so much, don't be some